Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. Today I'll show you how to use match function in ClickView. And this is one of my favorite functions, it's very useful. So let's get started. So let's understand what match function does. So the first point is all about it compares a string, field, or a variable with the expression. So it can compare either two strings and or it can compare a field and a variable with a, with a string. And the result of this comparison is always an integer value. And if there is no match which is found, then it returns zero. Most important thing to remember is this is case sensitive. Practically, this function can be used in the script and can also be used in any expression editor, including you can use this function in charts, text boxes, and list boxes. So where to use match function? So practically, uh, this works as a switch case statement in ClickView. So if you're familiar with any programming languages like C or anything, so you can use uh, uh, the match function as your case statement. And you can also use the match function to avoid nested ifs and long if statements. And for me, the most important place to use the match function is to use it in load script. So you can use this as an in statement or in keyword, like how you use it in SQL Server. You can use the match function and you can restrict only subset of the data. And this can also be used in custom sorting in expression. You can use dual function as well to get the sorting working, but sometimes if you, you can just use the match function and you can customize your sorting so that you don't have to define anything in load script. You can control the custom sorting within your expression editor. So let's look at a practical example using the match function. And I've already loaded some data. So let me just add a field here. So I'll add occupation. So this is some customer information. So I have a field here and I'll add a text box. This text box. Now I'll use the match function. So match occupation and I'm going to hard code the values. So however, you don't have to hard code it. You can either use it, use a variable instead of hard coding it. So uh, use historical management. And please remember this is case sensitive and I'll use manual. So I'll probably randomly pick up these three ones which are easy to type and then click on apply and click on okay. So now it doesn't show anything, but as soon as I select clerical, it returns one. As soon as I select manual, it returns three. And why it's three? Because this is in third position. And then if I select management, it returns two. And now let's say that if you wanted to use, check the condition if it's meeting either one of these three options from the uh, occupation field. So all you have to do is if this is greater than zero, then condition and this is false condition okay I have an extra yeah extra character that's been taken out okay so it shows false condition but as soon as I select manual it shows true clerical it shows true and management it shows true so instead of writing uh, multiple multiple if statements you can use the match function with other functions to get this functionality working. And now I'll show you how to restrict the data within the load script. So let's go to the script editor. Okay, so I have read some data which I'm taking from uh, SQL Server. And let's say that uh, you wanted to restrict some data. So however, if you're using select statement, you can always use where and you can use Let's say that uh, you wanted to restrict geography key. It's a field name. So 
Let's select job profile key in six eighty. The two numbers six eighty and let's select six ninety two. Can remember out of my head because I've been working with this data for quite some time. And let's say that if this is what you wanted to load, so let's reload it. So it works fine. And if I go ahead and select geography key field, so you see that we only have these two values. So this is fine, it works, that's great. However, if you're not loading data from SQL, if you're loading it from other source, however, and you wanted to restrict this data within your load script instead of within your select statement. So you can do that. So select where, so I'll probably copy this and then take this off. And then I'll use match. Then I'll say my field name, that's geography key. And then I would say 680 and 692. Close it. So this is like using an in statement in SQL Server. This is very easy to use and uh, you, you're saving yourself from typing loads of uh, or and other stuff. If I reload this, uh, let's go ahead and reload this. So this actually gives me only the geography keys 680 and 692. So this is the second place where we can use the match function. So let's look at the third solution where we can use the match function. So I'll quickly copy this field. And let's say that you have to sort these occupation values and you have to sort these values on presentation layer and you don't want to reload your document. So you can do that by using the match properties. And let's jump to sort and let's click on expression. So here I can type match occupation and I want to sort these values based on the hierarchy in the occupation. So I'll select management first and then select professional and then clerical and then skill manual oops typo manual and then manual so this is my sort order. So this is management being topmost and then manual being at the bottom. So let's select that. Let's keep this ascending because we've already defined the sort order. There we go. So we have management, we have professional, we have clerical, we have skill manual, and then we have manual. So let's change it to descending order and let's see what happens. So it should be other way around. Manual should be on the top. There we go. So you have manual, you have skill manual, clerical, professional, and management. So these are few instances where you can use the match function. However, there are many situations where you can combine match functions with other functions to get the power. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.